up a hip workout for you. 24 minutes, upper body and core. Are you ready? So, what we have, what the gears that we need today is the uh, pink thing. If you don't have the pink thing at home, use a resistance band. It's totally fine. You also need a set of dumbbells. Add extra weights if you want to challenge yourself. And a stability ball to work on a core. So we're going to start off today's workout with a warm-up. What you're going to need is the pink thing or resistant bands, whatever you have is accessible at home to warm up our upper body or warming up our joints. I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to set a timer for 25 seconds on, 10 second break, times six. So there's six different movements that we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to press start, about 10 seconds to start. We're going to start off with the overhead pass through, make sure your rib cage is over your pelvis, squeezing the glute, have a mirror by the side just so you can check your form as well. So feet are shoulder width apart, you're gonna bring the band above your head, feel that spread, and you're gonna trace it down your back, exhale as, it look, as you lower down. Inhale, bring it up, exhale as you bring that, trace that band forward, inhale up, exhale down. Just prepping your shoulders for today's upper body workout, lower it down, and up, inhale, exhale, trace it down. All right, timer is up. We're gonna do bend pull aparts now. Still rib cages over your pelvis, squeezing the glutes. And then you're gonna give me bend pull aparts, spread it across your chest, exhale back. Inhale, pull, spread it across your chest, exhale back. Coming back for it, inhale, pull, and exhale back. Really feeling that stretch in the chest, and pull apart, exhale back. Good, just a few more, exhale back. Try not to flare the lower back as you spread the band across your chest. Yeah, just a few more here. Couple more. All right, we're gonna work on the external rotation of your shoulders. So you wanna make sure your elbows is attached to your body, thumbs facing out, and you're gonna give me those band pull aparts. Bring it back, so don't let your elbows flare out. Keep it nice and tucked to your body and flare, spread the band apart, bring it back. So you should really feel it in the inside of the shoulders there. Just prepping it. It's so important for you to do these movement preps before you do any lifts, lifting any heavier weights. So spread apart, bring it back. All right, now we're gonna practice our row. So let's step on the band, the shoulder width apart, and then push the hip back, slight bend the knee, and then you're gonna pull the band up, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, you're gonna pull, exhale down. Good, inhale, pull, drive that elbow up, keep it nice and close to the body, and exhale down. Really warming up that mid back. Okay, and let's pull apart, pull up and down. Good, air, shoulders, hip are in alignment. You should feel in the glutes and hamstring, holding this hinge position. All right, now last one. We're just gonna take one step off the band. You're gonna bring the band up to your shelf and you're gonna press it up overhead, spread, re-rack it to your shelf, spread, and re-rack. And again, you don't wanna arch your lower back when you press anything overhead, keeping the glutes engaged, rib cages over the pelvis, and press, and back. Woo! Nice little warm up here. And don't forget to breathe. All right, and now, that should be it. So just five rounds. Ooh, hope you like that warm up. So for the first set of exercise, we're gonna do three rounds of these. What you're gonna need is a set of dumbbells. So I'm just gonna demonstrate what we're doing. Put the dumbbells right here. We're gonna start off, you're gonna inch form four to a high plank position. Find yourself in a high plank and you're gonna need renegade grows. So we're gonna go for 10 rows total. Make sure you're not arching that lower back, so tuck the tail. Bring that elbow up nice and close to the body. Exhale, bring it down and bring it up. So when it comes to this set of exercise, you wanna make sure you grab a set of weight that you can bicep curl comfortably and row and shoulder press as well. So, high plank position. Inch from forward, you're gonna give me 10 rows. After 10 rows, you're gonna come up, all the way up, and squat press. Back down, squat press. Okay, we're gonna go for 10 of those as well. After 10 of those, then you're gonna give me 10 bicep curls. It's gonna burn. All right, are you ready to get started with me? I'm gonna start in three, two, 
One that's interim forward high plank. Okay, screw your hands onto the floor, tuck your tail, let's draw the elbow up. Exhale down, pull, and down. Okay, nice neutral grip. If holding the dumbbell this way really hurts your wrist, feel free to place your palm down and then up. Place your palm down and up. There's always ways to modify. Wash your hips, try not to move it side to side. After 10 of these, you're gonna bring it up, all the way up, we're gonna squat and press. Back down, okay, bring it up, press two. Woo. And up, three. Your spine's nice and straight, you're not rounding forward. <sighs> Two more. And nine. Last one. <sighs> Alright, bicep curls. So hard to do a bicep curl right now after everything we just did. So keep the elbows nice and close to the body. Full range motion all the way down, all the way up. Two. <sighs> Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Whew. Okay, that's our first round of the upper body. Now we're gonna pair it with some abs with the stability ball. So what you're gonna do now is we're gonna plank on the stability ball and you're gonna draw alphabets with your elbows. So A to Z, 26 letters. After 26 letter, letters, you're gonna kick the ball and that mountain climbers, but keep the chest above the ball. After that, we're gonna toss the ball back and forth, 10, 10 reps total, and then we're gonna go back to the dumbbells. All right, so let's find ourselves in that plank position. Make sure you're not arching that lower back, tuck the tail, and let's go A to Z, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, and Q. Ooh, Q is hard. R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, now try not to drop. Hold that plank, and now let's kick it 30 times, two. Make sure your knee hits the ball every time. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Ten more. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Woo! All right. Now to ball toss. So lie on your back. You want to bring the ball right back behind you, feeling the stretch in the lats. Heels are elevated, you're gonna come up, shoot your shoulders off the floor, bring the toss the ball towards your legs, reach it back, feel the stretch in those abs, up, now that's two, reach back up, now that's three, reach back up, and four, lower, back up, five, inhale, exhale, six, back up, and seven, Reach, back up, eight, reach, back up, nine, last one, reach for it, come back up, and down. Ooh, abs on fire. All right, so that was our first set of exercise. We're gonna go for three sets of everything we just did total. So I'll take a break if you need, have some water, keep yourself hydrated. We're gonna go for a second set now. All right, second set. Let's grab those dumbbells. You're gonna inch forward, forward, so I'm just gonna crawl forward with the dumbbells. Make sure you're tucking that tail. Give me those rows, drive those elbows up. And down, two, and reach, three, and four. Good, and five, six, seven, good, and eight. Make sure your ear, shoulders, hip are in alignment, nine, and try not to rotate those hips, keep those abs tight. And last one, and let's crawl it back. All right, get ready for those 
squat, shoulder press, and press it up. Bring it back down. Chest up. Good. As you squat it down, you should be driving out to the second toe. Three. Good. Chest up. Four. Crown towards the ceiling. And five. Good. All the way down. Back up. Six. Whew. Seven. Three more. Eight. Two more. Nine. Whew. Last one. One more. And ten. All right. Try your best. Don't drop those dumbbells. We're going to bicep curl it up. Okay, so keep those elbows nice and close to the body. Whew. Hold the shoulders back. And let's curl it up. One, two, and three, four. Nice and control. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. All right, elbows down. Shake out those arms. We're going to go head back to working those abs now. All right. I don't know about you, but I'm... Ready for an L right now. Let's go. Let's chest is off the ball. Make sure you're tucking the tail. Nice straight line. And let's go A to Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, K, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Now put the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Okay, 20 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, thirty. Whew. That was tough. It's only your second round. We're not even done yet. All right. Ball toss. Let's get yourself in alignment. Let's lie on your back. Bring the ball behind your back. Heels are hovering. Let's bring that ball towards your legs. Shoulders out the floor. And reach it back. Feel that stretch. Come up. Crunch it up. That's one. Reach. Back up. Reach. Two. Reach it back and come back up. Reach for that ball. Three. Reach it back. Feel the stretch and up. Crunch it up. Four. Reach. Five. Whew. And up. Six. Almost there. And seven. Reach. Back up. Eight. Two more. And nine. Last one. One more to go. Take a break if you need. Have some water. Keep yourself hydrated. We're gonna get ready for our third set of the, everything we just did. That's tough. I don't know how you're feeling, but as you can see, I'm sweating like crazy right now. And I'm doing this with you. So we're gonna crawl into our back forward to that plank position. Renegade rows, 10 of those. Back to the squat presses, back to those bicep curls, and then with the stability ball, we're gonna draw those alphabets, mountain climbers on the stability ball, and then we're gonna ball toss back and forth. All right, are you ready? Let's grab those dumbbells. We're gonna inch from forward, crawl it forward, high plank position. Good, make sure you're touching that tail, nice straight line, and drive that elbow towards your body. Back down, and up two. And three. Okay, and four. Nice. And five. Watch those hips. Don't let it twist. Okay, two more. And last one. All right, let's crawl all the way back. We're going to squat. Press it up. All right, so let's bring it up to your shoulder. Press it up overhead. Bring it back down. Chest up. Drag those knees out. And press two. Lower down, chest up, and three. Good, try not to arch up back, keep the abs tight. Four, good, and up, 
five. Add more. And six. Down. Seven. And eight. Good. Almost there. Two more. off with bicep curls so full range motion squeezing the glute don't arch out lower back full range and let's go up one two three four five six seven eight nine last one and ten Woo! high five good job all right now to the abs part Remember our alphabets, A to Z, or A to Z, whichever one you prefer. Um, doesn't matter lowercase or uppercase, totally up to you, they're both hard. Okay, so chest is off the ball. Ready? Abs tight, and let's go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, Woo, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, Whew. S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, and kick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Abs on fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Woo! Ten more to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Oh, that was tough. All right. Okay, so back to ball toss. We're gonna lie down. I'm gonna bring the ball behind you. Heels are hovering. And come up. Reach. Lower. And up, reach, lower, and up. two exercises. First exercise, you can grab a set of plates. So I'm gonna just grab a set of fives. We're gonna do lateral raises. So you're gonna place your thumb. If you don't have plates at home, you can use dumbbells as well. Whichever works, you just need a set of plate. Make sure you can come into a tall kneeling position, rip cage over pelvis again. And you're just gonna give me a lateral raise, down and up, 30 seconds of work. It's a lot of reps for 30 seconds. And then second movement, we're gonna lie on your back, no equipment required. Hands by your side, you're gonna give me reverse crunch, bring the heels up to ceiling, lower, and back up. Working those lower abs. All right, I'm gonna set the timer, so 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and then you're gonna time six, which means three rounds total, you're supersetting between those two. It's four minutes as a finisher, so 10 seconds before you start. Let's get yourself in position. So I'm just gonna place my thumb around the circle, Okay, cage over pelvis. I'm just gonna raise my arms up and down. Inhale, reach up, exhale down. Inhale up and down and up. Good. And just working shoulders and just up and down. So if you're flying like a bird, right? And up and down. Feel the burn. Whew! Almost there. Three, two, and one, place the plates down or dumbbells, whichever equipment you have. Even if you have water bottles at home, that works too. Hands by your side. All right, and you're gonna extend those legs, bring your hips up and lower, back up. Working those lower abs. Extend, back up, extend, back up. Getting my lower abs 
ready. I am heading on vacation soon, so gotta be bikini ready. Whew, down and up. All right, back to those lateral raises. Grab your plates, grab your weights, whatever resources that you have at home. Water bottles are just fine. Okay, rib cage over pelvis. Let's raise it up. Exhale down. And down. Nice and control. And nice and slowly lower. And lower. Feel the bird. All the way up and down. Make sure your glutes are nice and squeezed. Almost there. squeeze and up inhale exhale lower okay make sure you're following your breath you're breathing everything out inhale reach exhale lower nice and control really working your shoulders working your arms getting yourself tank top arms ready all right last set Hands by your side. Let's go extend those legs all the way up. Lower those heels down. Control back up. Lower. Woo. Back up. And up. Lower. And back up. Keep it up. Almost there. There you have it, that's our workout today. I hope you really enjoyed my weekly workouts. So, happy Monday guys. So that was our upper body 24 minute hit uh, with core. And I hope you like the burn and I'll see you next week. Bye.